Meg Linehan. Let's start off with Meg Linehan from The Athletic. Hi, Kling. Um, obviously not on the field for the tail end of this one, but if you could maybe walk us through what you saw in terms of, um, I guess, tempers running high, but also what you think this maybe says about the thorns right at the moment. Um, <clears throat> first of all, I'd just like to say I'm really proud of the group. Like, uh, we put in a lot of work this this preseason, and I think that the fight showed out there, and I'm really proud of them that they literally, you know, were working until the very last minute of the game. Um, unfortunately, I think I'm really disappointed in what happened, uh, not necessarily from our side, because what I saw was, um, you know, Morgan Weaver didn't do anything. She was the one that got taken down, and we watched it on replay, and I think uh, – that needs to be rectified because it's unfair for a player to be carded and then not able to play in the next game when they didn't do anything. So hopefully we can appeal that and make it right because, you know, it could have affected the outcome of the game and you'd never want refereeing to get in the way of a match, especially one um, that was close. And so for me, I just want, you know, standards to be held accountable because for us we're, we're putting it all out on the field we're doing everything that we can <clears throat> to win we just practiced 10 weeks in preseason and i think the players deserve um you know quality refereeing and quality uh accountability when it comes to these matches i want my players safe i want the other players on the other team safe as well and i don't think that's too much to ask Next, we'll go to Paul Danzer. Hey, Kling, just talk about the, um, just the atmosphere and the way you guys kind of kept the flow going, you know, first time with fans. Talk about playing through your um, early, you know, not jitters, but emotion, and then getting into the game. <clears throat> yeah, I, I think emotions were, were high. We have... Uh, not had fans in a long time, as you all know, we haven't had connection and our community is very interconnected with this team and it's part of the fabric of this organization. And so without them, it felt like our 12th person on the field wasn't there. And it felt like that 12th person was back tonight. So it was amazing. We loved it. But obviously when, when you're having that new uh, energy, it takes a little bit of time to, to get into it. I think it took us a little bit of time to get in the match, but when we did, I thought we did some dangerous things. Um, and we had some dangerous opportunities and I think we could have scored a few more. So that's exciting. And I think, um, you know, we have room to grow. Uh, next we'll go to Caitlin Best. Caitlin, you can unmute yourself. Okay, here we go. We're here. Um, Kling, I'm just, I'm wondering when the last time in your career you found yourself like in the center of the pitch, surrounded on all sides by pressure, dribbling the ball and how that felt tonight. <laughs> well, Caitlin, Bess, um, I think that <clears throat> you know, that happens to me all the time at practice and now everybody just gets to see it in the game. <laughs> um, you know, in, in rondos and all these different things, um, I'm asked to handle pressure and from all sides. So I think being out on the field, I've been asking for years to play in 10, give me a shot, give me a, give me a chance, Mark, give me a tryout um, and finally got one. So hopefully I lived up to uh, the tryout because I, I'd like to continue playing there or playing it doesn't matter honestly um where but it's been fun um but I think last time I talked to Anson this morning because it's his birthday and he was like I told him that I was going to be playing in the eight and he was like oh you'll be fine you played there for for us in college so it made me feel better about it a reminder to media if you have any uh questions please raise your hand uh next we'll go to Grant Little Hi, Megan. Um, I thought Marissa Everett played really well in the absence of Sinclair in that false nine or number 10 role. Could you talk a little bit about her performance? 
Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> our team is amazing. We have some of the best players in the world. And I mean, Stinky is arguably GOAT, you know? So unfortunately, you don't get to see the quality of our players, um, all of our players, but we have incredible quality whether it's on the field or it's on the bench and i'm really excited that you all got to see the quality of marissa everett today because i've watched her these past couple of years put in the work and she's so smart about getting in the spaces and getting in a place where she can hurt the opposition um i don't think many other players especially her age are able to do the things that marissa does and then once she gets into those spaces <clears throat> she's quality and that's what we needed tonight. And um, I didn't expect anything else from her. Any more questions for Kling? Uh, last question, we'll go to Steph Yang. Oh, Steph Yang, how you doing? Good, Steph Yang from All for 11. Um, I just wanted to follow up, you know, your first question, <laughs> you talked about you wanted players to be safe. It feels like, it's literally the first game you would hope maybe a question like this could wait a little longer into the challenge cup or the season to come up. But I mean, here, here it is in the, in the very first game is, can you elaborate on your thoughts on what you as players can do to advocate for yourselves and, you know, try to push for increasing the standards? I think it's tough because, um, you know, here at the Thorns, we're incredibly blessed and I'm grateful to be a part of this organization because they're always pushing for the best, the best players, the best coaches. Um, we're pushing to like raise the standards of the league. And um, it's tough because I think a lot of times women's sports, excuse me, sports that happen to future women in general are <clears throat> not held to the same standard in refereeing, in coaching, in investment, in all of these different areas. And um, quite frankly, I'm tired of it. And I think that um, not only do I want it, but I think it's required now. The, the level of the players is world-class. You don't get to tell me that, that the players aren't the best in the world on this field. Um, they are. And now we need to make sure that everything else is best in the world on this field as well. 